Good morning, everyone. Welcome to Science for Young Minds with Merivit Education Center. This series is for Pratum 3. Let's learn some vocabulary words. All right. You will learn how to spell and pronounce some vocabulary words. Here are some vocabulary words for today. Are you ready? Here we go. Number one, mushrooms. Number two, fungi. Number three, microorganisms. Number four, microscope. Number five, organisms. Number six, yeast. Number seven, mold. Number eight, bacteria. Number nine, useful. Number ten, harmful. Please repeat the word after me. Mushrooms. Good job! Let's spell it. M U S H R O O M S. Mushrooms. Great! Mushrooms are living things. Can you try reading the sentence on your own? Great! Please repeat the word after me. Fungi Good job! Let's spell it. F U N G I Fungi Great! There are many kinds of fungi. They come in different shapes and sizes. Can you try reading the sentence on your own? Great! Please repeat the word after me. Microorganisms. Good job! Let's spell it. M I C R O O R G A N I S M S. Microorganisms. Great! Some living things are very, very small. They are called microorganisms. Can you try reading the sentence on your own? Great! Please repeat the word after me. Microscope. Good job! Let's spell it. M I C R O S C O P E. Microscope. Great! We need a microscope to see microorganisms. Can you try reading the sentence on your own? Great! Please 
repeat the word after me. Organisms. Good job. Let's spell it. O R G A N I S M S. Organisms. Great. Living things are also called organisms. Can you try reading the sentence on your own? Great! Please repeat the word after me. Yeast. Good job! Let's spell it. Y E A S T. Yeast. Great! We use yeast in making a bread. Can you try reading the sentence on your own? Great! Please repeat the word after me. Mold. Good job! Let's spell it. M O U L D. Mold. Great! There is mold on the bread. Can you try reading the sentence on your own? Great! Please repeat the word after me. Bacteria. Good job! Let's spell it. B A C T E R I A. Bacteria. Great! Bacteria are examples of microorganisms. Can you try reading the sentence on your own? Great! Please repeat the word after me. Useful. Good job! Let's spell it. U S E F U L. Useful. Great! Some microorganisms are useful. We use them in making food. Can you try reading the sentence on your own? Great! Please repeat the word after me. Harmful. Good job! Let's spell it. H-A-R-M-F-U-L Harmful. Great! Raw food may contain harmful bacteria. Can you try reading the sentence on your own? Great! You will learn how to classify different living things, whether they are animals, plants, fungi, and microorganisms.
Living things can be grouped into four main groups. These include the animals, plants. It also includes the fungi, such as mushrooms. And lastly, the microorganisms which are very small to be seen with just our eyes. We need a microscope to see them. Do you know that some microorganisms are useful and others are harmful? Do you know which are the useful ones and the harmful ones? Do you like yogurt and cheese? We use bacteria in making them. So, in this case, the microorganisms involved in making cheese and yogurt are useful. But some microorganisms are harmful, like the ones that make the food taste sour and smell bad. If we eat the spoiled food because of these organisms, we can get sick. These were the characteristics of living things we have talked today. Please answer the worksheet and bring it on the first day of school. Thank you and see you next episode!